over the last three decades, we've seen the kind of so-called conflict, uh, which is actually Islamist terrorism uh, that has been brewing in Kashmir Valley, Sharan. Uh, you've seen news reports, you've uh, seen the gory images of terrorists killing innocent Kashmiris, of terrorists attacking security forces time and again. And these terrorists backed by Pakistan are uh, creating a havoc, you know, all across uh, these three decades. We remember several of these terror attacks, you know, from Pulwama to Uri uh, to, you know, sporting attacks that take place in Srinagar, in Baramulla, Kulgam, Anantanag, Shopian, you name it. Uh, what we have seen, uh, specifically because you asked me about Kashmiri pundits, is that beginning 1989, we saw targeted assassination of Kashmiri pundits, prominent Kashmiri pundit leaders, prominent writers, uh, literature you know, experts, scholars, even judges. Uh, Justice Neelkurt Ganju was gunned down in Srinagar. We had Tikalal Taplu, a politician uh, who was gunned down. Uh, we had si similarly Sarvanan Kaul Premi in Anandunan. He, along with his son, who were killed in a very barbaric manner, even though he was a very popular figure among the local community. So we saw that local terrorists, hand in gloves with Pakistani terror organizations, began these uh, targeted assassinations. And two of the groups that were mainly responsible for the killing, assassination, uh, kidnapping, plunder of the Kashmiri Pandit community were Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front and Hezbul Mujahideen. Hezbul Mujahideen mainly having its base or support from Syed Salahuddin from Pakistan occupied Kashmir over the years. And uh, JKLF, of course, Yasin Malik, who is presently in Tehar Jail, Bitta Karate, also known as Farooq Ahmad Dar, Javed Nalka, and the Haji group that was known at that particular time. So it led to exodus of more than 4 lakh Kashmiri Pandits uh, who overnight had to leave their home and earth, including my own family. And my family, in fact, left uh, between 19th and 20th January 1919 uh, and had to stay in Jammu. You know, we were staying in a, a garage, which was basically one room and we were more than a dozen people there and which was actually a garage connected to a cow shed. And that's where, uh, you know, we spent initial weeks or months after the exodus began. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.